Hello everyone, welcome to this week's special spotlight. Uh, my name is Rodri, I'm part of the solutions engineering team here at Cardo. And today we'll be talking about telling stories about um, geospatial data around maps. Um, just to give you a little bit of context, here at Cardo, we believe that um, storytelling is a great tool uh, to present things, everything from problem statement to uh, result of analysis and everything in between. So we create a bunch of uh, these presentations with interactive maps and information about these maps uh, to give all the context and content needed to understand what's going on on, on on the different maps. And we can go from one map to the other uh, and read what's, what's going on, right? Um, so, uh, some question that we get a lot is, Hey, can I do this if I don't know how to code? Uh, and the truth is that, that these maps, these story maps are built with Cardo for react. So, um, to create exactly this, maybe you need it, but not to create something similar. And there are pretty good alternatives that we, we show, we will show today, um, so that you can recreate something similar to this in a very easy way without having to code anything at all. Um, but first of all, what's, what's the point, right? Because we can just create a dashboard and share that dashboard and that's it and forget about it. But the truth is that, uh, explaining an analysis is not always as easy as sharing a dashboard, uh, because there is a problem statement or a business question that we're trying to solve. Uh, but there are also many steps in between the problem statement and the, and the dashboard that we also need to understand or that we uh, want um, the stakeholders representing this to understand. So that's the main point of this. It's to get control, to take control on the narrative uh, of the analysis that that we're performing. So that's the main point, um, uh, the narrative, but also this is pretty good for personalized content and also to customize the narrative, right? Uh, sometimes we build analysis, we get the results, but we are not the ones who will actually present those results. So with story maps, we take control uh, of that. And uh, we are a little bit more sure of uh, what um, what will be discussed or what, what will be uh, presented, right? So uh, story maps in the end of the day are just presentation uh, presentations. And there are many presentation tools out there, but uh, to replicate this, we chose slides.com so slides.com is a tool that i like a lot and the main reason is that it's pretty easy to use and it has a bunch of capabilities that we can use to 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 create this story maps so the main feature is the possibility to insert iframes in the presentations so for example if i want to embed a map I can just select iframe, add it to the canvas, select the size of the, of the map. And, um, for example, if I want to embed this map that I created with the, with the Cardo, uh, builder, I can just, well, I will publish this just in case I can copy the share link and I can come back to the presentation and just as easy i have the map already in the in the presentation and the good point is that these maps are interactive and we can filter even and and do everything that we would do in the in the dashboard so once we have the map pasted there we can add anything that we want like text we can add images um code blocks, tables, anything we want. And it's, it's really easy to, to do something like this, um, with the slides.com. 
right? So I prepared this little example uh, for you here, uh, where we will find similar locations to top performing stores based on uh, their trade areas. And uh, I want to show you that I even added a map as the background of this slide. So it's you can even interact with it. Uh, you can personalize everything. So for example, I can make it interactive, right? So when I share this and I put it like full screen, um, I can interact with the map and move around. I mean, to be honest, I think it, it looks pretty cool. And um, once we have this uh, title slide um, ready, we can start adding uh, more slides. So actually, let me refresh this one here. Okay, there we go. So uh, right here in this story, uh, we are trying to find similar location to top performing stores. So um, what I did here was adding the map as an iframe. I added um, uh, image of the city we are uh, we are studying or uh, the study area. And also I added some descriptive text of what we're seeing. And also, I added some SQL code, right? So this is a uh, hundred percent uh, custom. We can customize it, but the idea of this one would be uh, to share this with other analysts that may want to replicate this uh, themselves in other locations for other stores for other um, clients and, and and so on, right? So for example, here. Uh, the first slide is only the locations uh, that we will be using uh, to perform this analysis, right? Uh, since we are going to find similar stores based on trade areas, the second step um, would be just generating generating the trade areas and showing the trade areas in the map, right? But the structure that I used is pretty much the same. Also, I enriched the trade areas with this SQL code um, to see, for example, the total population, the total uh, number of males and females in that um, in that uh, trade areas, in those trade areas for each location. And also, if uh, we we can even we can even play with the legend here, so that we know what we're seeing. And uh, this is very powerful because we have the context of what we did to achieve that in the map, but we can also use the elements of the map to um, put the data in context as well, right? For example, with the legend right now, um, very easily I can see here uh, which stores have the high the highest population um, in their catchment areas. So after that, uh, this is my result um, result map. Um, I used one store as a target and we see bigger and darker the, the other stores that have a higher uh, similarity, right? It wouldn't have been the same if we just shared this last uh, map, this last slide, um, because with the previous content, we can achieve several things, right? Um, if we are talking to the decision makers, they will see, okay, uh, I see that these stores are more similar uh, to this one, and I know the reasons why. So I know uh, that this is based on total population or any other variable. And also, uh, if we want to share this with colleagues, with other analysts, they will have like a step-by-step -step guide of how to perform the same analysis in different locations, right? So as you can see, this storytelling can be applied in, in, in different ways. And um, I believe it's, 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 it's really powerful in, in that way. So uh, I also added here some tricks about the, um, about the story maps uh, that I usually build. Um, it's uh, all about problem plus solution, right? So we are uh, building story maps. So the maps are important, that's for sure, but also the story behind that, right? So 
uh, I would start really simple, um, like we did in this example. So only the locations that we'll be starting would be more than enough, just to give some context on what, what's gonna happen in the in the story map, right? And I make every slide an extension of the previous one, right? So. Uh, if you remember, I selected the, I, I like, I showed the locations, then the locations, but the catchment areas, then the catchment areas plus the enrichment, um, just to make it like step by step and very logical and easy to understand. Right. And the nice thing about this type of content, it's that it's very easy to reuse, right? So never start, start from scratch. I have like three, four uh, types of uh, slides that I saved uh, to make it easy to, to duplicate. And I use those all the time and I just change the content to make it more easy. Um, so yeah, I think that's, uh, that's, that's all. Um, I hope you liked it um, and I'm also um very glad to to have you here in this live uh, i will be checking all of your questions thank you have a nice day